church member. I'm so glad that the Lord led Nicole to this church. She just passed it a couple of times. One Sunday she came back and she said, you know, I passed her a couple of times and I've just been drawn to come here. She said, so here I am. Well, I've gone on to heaven now, and I'll tell this on me. But the second Sunday, or the first or second Sunday, Tom Brewer saw Nicole. So he chased her all the way to the side. <laughs> and he didn't just shake their young girl's hands, he kissed them. And I watched that happen. I watched her go away, and I told Virginia she won't be back now. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, she had filled out a visitor's card, and I called her. And we got to talking in a while, and the rest is history. Glad to have this family. I'm glad to be able to baptize this young man and glad his grandmother her husband is here to be a part of this service. Would you pray with us? Our Father, you have told us to go out into the highways and hedges and compel people to come in and that your house may be filled and to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, this is what it's all about. Nobody is encouraged or pushed. He has come with a broke heart and to get rid of his sin. And Lord, he's concerned about going to heaven. That's when we know that he's come out from under that blanket of security and he has to make a decision and his dad and mom let him make it. We're standing here because he wanted to be here. This time, his first time, and it's real. Lord, we pray now that you will bless him, his mother, his dad, his grandparents. Lord, they'll see Jesus in him as he grows up. Put him to work for you in your field. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, with a humble heart, seeking your will, asking, Father, for your protection. You've heard the prayer request made here today, Father, those that are spoken, those that are unspoken, ask, Father, that you place your hand upon that. You make of that your will, not ours. Father, we pray that you walk with us as we go about our daily lives, that others will see Christ in us. Father, we thank you for your love that is unwavering, even though we waver. And Father, for this special event that has occurred here today, thank you. Thank you for your love 
in your mercy upon Coy and upon his family. We can hear the angels rejoice. We hear the devil moan as another soul is granted to you. And we give glory to that. We ask, Father, that you be with us as we leave today, that you protect us. Pray, Father, that you be with our nation, be with our brothers and sisters throughout this world who are spreading your gospel. Elsewhere in the world today, someone else has been baptized. Someone has came to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But ironically, they've had to do it in secrecy. They've not been able to do it openly and freely as we have. We give our gratitude to you for that, Father. We pray for this nation. Pray your blessings upon us. In Jesus' loving name we ask. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.